Uh, today we'll be talking about my HydroBoost uh, brake system. Uh, a couple of you guys asked me to do a video on it. And since I already have it installed, the best I can do is give you a quick walkthrough of how I did mine, what mine looks like, and provide you with uh, part numbers and where you can get these parts. So let's begin. This is the HydroBoost unit. You can get it from any of the auto parts stores. And same with the lines. Uh, I got this one myself from AutoZone with the lines. So this is a Duralast Cardone uh, remanufactured unit, I guess. And the installation is pretty straightforward. Uh, you remove the old, um, remove the old system. It comes with the flange and everything, so you just gotta put the four bolts in through by the pedal. Wait a second. And eh, somebody was probably speeding. Anyways, so back to this. Um, pretty straightforward installation. Really hard part is to get that little eyelid to fit um, because it's uh, oversized. And if you already had the Power Master in this car, then this one will be a, a, a literally a straight swap. You just take the old unit out, put this one in, slap your master cylinder on, and run both of these lines. They work with the factory power steering pump. It's right there. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. These lines, they, I don't know if you can see them right here. You can follow them down there. And then one goes to the power steering box, to the, excuse me, to the steering box. And then the other line actually has a piece of hard line, which you'll put above. Hold on, can you see that? You just follow this thick one right here. You put it above that one and then drag it all the way to the power steering pump. And both of them bolt, screw right in and you're done. Uh, a lot of people say that the vacuum system works good as well, but I do know that you do need to replace the pedal or at least drill a hole in your pedal or something along those lines to get it to fit. So I feel it might be more complicated than this since this literally, since this system literally just bolts right in. Uh, there was no modifications. So I paid under $300 with not 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 counting the Willwood master cylinder with the master cylinder that I had before, which is this one. On the on most of the conversions that I see, people use a cast iron uh, master cylinder, which is really ugly. Um, actually, I think the Corvette has no that that one has a nicer one than than the one that uh, I see in most conversions. But anyways, so this one's the one with with the plastic reservoir. I painted it black. Horrible idea because every time that you get a oil leak. It stains it. Uh, I can remove all that, but anyways, if you're in a budget or you don't want, you can't or you don't want to spend as much as the conversion cost on a master cylinder, uh, this is your, this is your, this is your master cylinder right here. It's a really nice piece. It looks clean. Uh, probably put a picture of it of what it looked like before I converted to the Willwood. So the part number on this puppy right here is NM1740. I paid $37.99 plus tax on this. So here you're looking at $180 to even it out, uh, $31, $17. Without counting this, if I if I had the the OEM style one that I just showed you, this would be $30, but Obviously, this one's not. This one's a little more expensive, a lot more expensive, a hell of a lot more expensive. But I needed this because I have the the dual large shoe on the rear of the of the car. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, the conversion is straightforward. No modification. You take off the old stuff. You put the, put in the new stuff. The putting the lines on the on the pump does get a little difficult, but it's it's not. There's no modifications. It's it's literally some patience and like replace it's just like replacing any other part in the car. Um, there's no special tools. There's no special nothing. Everything bolts right up. Everything just drops in. The one part that I have forgotten to mention is the return line. This is a what is the rating on this? This is a J 
J2076 uh, SAE rating. Let me see if you can see that. Bam, there you go. So that's the rating, 3 8 line. And uh, this is the return, which actually you can see it right here. If you follow the hose down, you can see all these clamps down there. Let me see if I can get you a better shot. So that is my return. And this is from the line that is returning from the power steering gearbox. So you see that the top one goes to the T. This this side goes to the hydro boost. This side goes to the reservoir. That's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the sh little short video. Uh, coming up, I have the the UMI front suspension and the coilovers, the coilover install. Uh, I'm already working on some of the footage where you'll see the suspension working on on the stock setup. But anyways, that should be that that will be in another video. Uh, like I said, for now, I'll leave you with the guys with this small short video, uh, the updates and, uh, stay tuned. Please subscribe and uh, hit the like button.